And we're going to get started in a seat. So whatever that looks like for you, you could be kneeling, you could be cross-legged, sitting up on a block. And place one hand on your heart and place the other hand on the ground. So you can hand flat down or tenting the fingertips. Just trying to readjust my setup here. And close your eyes once you get there. So with your hand on your heart, you're feeling your breath circulate through the body, feeling the rise and fall of your chest. And just turning your focus inward. And then with your hand on the floor, you're feeling grounded, the connection with the earth the floor beneath you. As the world spins, as whatever crazy stuff is going on outside, as that happens, you are still, you are connected to both the earth and to your body, to your mind. No matter how crazy things get, you have the ability to still yourself, to calm the breath, to feel grounded, even when whatever else is going on may feel like the opposite of grounding. Take a big inhale through your nose and exhale, sigh it out. You keep your eyes closed if you'd like or gently open them and come onto hands and knees, coming into tabletop. And here's where you want to press play on the playlist if you're listening along with me as we start moving through cat cow. arching and flexing the spine and really doing whatever it is here that would help you wake up the body a little bit more this afternoon. You could exaggerate the shift front to back. You could linger in a, one of the poses for an extra beat. You could flip your wrists around. Nodding your head, yes, no. Whatever it is that you need. Sorry, it's like super driving me nuts how uneven my laptop is, but good enough. <laughs> All right, come back to a tabletop, so neutral spine. Dip your belly, reach your heart open for cow pose. As you exhale, round in the cat, pull the right knee into your chest, push the ground away. Inhale, stretch the right leg straight back, reach the heart forwards. Exhale again, knee into your chest, round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. This time, inhale, reach the right leg straight out, reach the left arm straight forwards. Scoop the belly up, lengthen the low back, take a breath in. Breath out, elbow to knee. Tap it. Stay here, round a little bit more, scoop the knee in a little bit more, and then step the left hand down, step the right foot forwards. Tuck your left toes, pull the left knee back a few inches, so lengthening your stance. 
Set your fingertips so you might grab blocks. Take a breath in. And breath out, lengthen the right leg, half split. Two more, inhale, bend the right knee. And exhale, hips go back. Inhale. And send it back on your exhale. As you come forwards, plant your palms, lift the left knee, runners lunge, take a breath in. And then breath out, twist, the right arm goes straight up. Sweep the right arm towards the back of the room, circle it down, outside the right leg, and then up and back one more time, big circle. And then right hand steps to the floor, downward facing dog step back. Shift to a high plank pose, inhale. Resist the floor, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Tend the fingertips really wide on the floor. Elbows point straight up. Inhale for a wide cobra pose. Right shoulder dips towards the mat, look to the left. Inhale through center. Left shoulder dips. Inhale, you lift. And exhale, lower your chest down. Take your hands under your shoulders, push back child's pose. Hips sink down towards your heels. Take a breath in. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine, shift forwards. Inhale for cow belly dips. Exhale as you come back into cat, left knee into your belly. Shoot the left leg back, inhale, heart forwards. Exhale, round knee. In. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale, left leg straight back. Flex the foot, push the heel up, reach the bottom of the foot back, and then right arm goes forwards, palm faces in. Scoop the belly up, lengthen the tailbone down. We'll hold here, engage the core. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, round, and then step the right hand down, left foot forwards. Lengthen your stance as you need to. Take a breath in, and breath out, shift back, half split. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Then the left knee, and send it back. Inhale as runner's lunge, plant the palms, lift the right knee, and then twist, left arm goes straight up. Two circles, left arm goes way back, down, sweeps up and over the ear, one more. And then when the left hand comes down, you step back, down, up. High plank, shift forwards on your breath in. Resist the floor, lower down. Tent the fingertips really wide on the floor, off your mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Left shoulder taps. Inhale, you lift. Right shoulder taps. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower hands under your shoulders. Push back child's pose, hips towards your heels. Take a breath in here. Breath out, round into cat. Inhale for cow, belly dips, heart opens. Exhale, round knee in, right knee in. Straighten the right leg, inhale. Exhale again, knee into your chest. Stretch it back, inhale. Exhale, knee in. This time, straighten the right leg, reach it back. Reach the left hand forwards, lift the belly, firm up the belly. Bend the right knee, pull the right heel in, and then circle the left arm up and back, grab the right ankle. It's a quad stretch. Once you've got it, you kick into the hand, let the left shoulder lift. If you guys are listening to my playlist and you want to stop the yoga at any point and do the TikTok dance, you can feel free. <laughs> One more inhale. Exhale, slowly release it. Left hand forwards, right, uh, right leg back. Breath in. Knee to elbow. Step forwards, right foot forwards. Take an inhale. Shift back one time. Runner's lunge, take an inhale, lift the left knee. Right arm reaches up. One circle, sweep it back, down. Plant your palms, step back, down dog. Shoot forwards, high plank, lower all the way down. Tent the fingers wide, fingers lift the chest. Right shoulder dips. 
Inhale, heart forwards. Left shoulder dips. Inhale. Exhale, release it. Plant your palms, child's pose, push back. Inhaling here. Cat pose, push forwards, round. Inhale for cow, dip your belly, tailbone lifts. Left knee in, cat pose. Left leg back, inhale. Two more, exhale, pull it in. Stretch it back. And round. Lengthen the left leg back, lift the belly, reach the right arm forwards, right palm faces in, scoop the belly up, keep the low back long as you bend the left knee. Circle the right arm back, grab that left foot. Once you've got it, you kick into it and let that lift the right shoulder open. Without slingshotting, you slowly release. Right arm forwards, left leg back, inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Left foot forwards, right hand plants. Take a breath in. And lengthen the left leg just one time. Runner's lunge, bend the left knee, lift the right knee. Twist, left arm up. Left arm goes back, big circle, take it down. Plant your palms, step back, down dog. High plank, shift forwards, all the way onto the belly. Tent, untuck your toes, tent the fingers. Inhale, lift the chest. Left shoulder dips. Inhale through center. Right shoulder. Inhale, you lift. And exhale, let your heart come down. Press your palms back to child's pose. Take an inhale. Cat pose, round the spine. Cow pose, dip the belly. This time, round the spine, tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. First time we've been here for an, uh, more than just one or two breaths, so do what you like to do. You can pedal your heels, sway your hips. Maybe wiggle to the feet a little bit. This flow moves pretty quickly today. So don't worry if you get a little bit lost the first time because we'll also repeat, repeat it twice. Second time we usually add on a little bit, make it a little bit harder. And add-ons are always optional. Let's sweep the right leg up and back on your inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee, open the hip, point the right toes, length along the right side of the body. Take a breath in. Breath out, knee to nose. Shift forward, get your shoulders over your wrists, scoop the knee in. A little bit different. Inhale, hover the right knee, lower it to hover. Exhale, push into the floor, lift your hips, knee to nose. Two more, inhale to hover. Exhale, you lift. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale to hover, exhale, just let the right knee come all the way down. Spin the right shin out to the right, spin the left heel down, and then peel your left arm up. You're in a supported side plank. Reach up a little bit more at the left fingertips, shrug the right shoulder away from your ear, and then keeping the arms open, lift yourself all the way up. Good, like you're reversing it, right hand to the left leg, left arm or right arm over your ear. And then take your right hand down towards the floor once again, left arm straight up. This time we hover the left leg, it's like a supported half moon. Flex the left foot, push this left heel up, you'll feel the outer hip engage, the glute. Inhale, left arm over your ear. Exhale, spin back to face the floor, right shin spins back. Tuck the left toes, press into the palms, take an inhale. Knee to nose. Inhale, right leg goes up and back, bend the knee, open the hip. Take a breath in. Right knee, right tricep. Stay here, tap the left tricep. Tap the right tricep. Tap the left tricep, and then tap the knee down. Same thing, spin the left heel down, right arm rises. So you're in a little bit of a wider supported side plank. This time we let the hips come all the way down. Right foot is inside the left thigh. Left hand to left foot, right arm over your ear, side bend. Let the left ear drop. 
Come back up to your seat. We're gonna switch legs. So right leg straightens, left leg bends. Plant the left hand under your left shoulder. Reach the right arm up. Push into this left hand. Lift your hips, press the hips forwards. Little back bend. Hips come back down. We're switching the legs once again. Left leg straightens, right leg bends. Good. Left arm over your ear. Push into this right hand. Back to your supported, um, I guess this is a really wide side plank. And then take your left hand to the floor. Pull the right knee into your nose. Reach it back, inhale. Step the right foot forwards. Runner's lunge. Hands frame the right foot, take an inhale. Exhale, lengthen the right leg. You might grab blocks into your hands. Runner's lunge, inhale. And send it back, exhale. One more time, breath in. And breath out. Breathe in, look forwards, bend the right knee. Step forwards, forward fold, top of the mat. Option for a rag doll. Soften the knees, sway a little bit, bob a little bit. Release your hands to the floor. You'll slowly round your way up, maybe dance your way up. And then inhale, arms rise at the top. Exhale, you cactus the arms, bend the elbows, catch and interlace at your low back. Inhale, lift the chest, heart rises. Exhale, hinge at the waist, bow forwards, keep the knees soft. Lift your shoulders away from the floor, take a breath in, and breath out, release your hands. Left foot steps, runner's lunge, inhale. Downward facing dog, push into your hands. High plank, inhale, shift forwards. It's a chaturanga, we lower halfway. Upward facing, inhale. Exhale, downward facing, hips go up and down. Left leg lifts, inhale. Bend the left knee, open the hip. Straighten the left leg, breath in. Breath out, knee to nose. Inhale, hover, lower the left knee just to hover. Exhale, scoop the hips up, knee to nose. Two more, inhale. Use your core, exhale, lift. One more, inhale. Exhale, lift, knee to nose. Inhale to hover. Exhale, just let that left knee come down. Spin the left shin out, right heel down. Supported side plank, right arm rises. Lift yourself up and away from that left hand. Shrug the left shoulder away from your ear. Arms stay open, stand all the way up. Reverse it, right hand to your right thigh, left arm over the ear. And left hand comes back down under the left shoulder, right arm straight up. Lift the right leg, it's like a supported half moon. You flex this right foot, you feel the outer hip turn on. Right arm over your ear, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, right toes tap. Spin that left shin back. Push into your hands, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, pull it in. Left leg goes up, inhale. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take a breath in. Left knee, left tricep, tap it. Turn it to the right, back to the left, back to the right, and then let the shin come down. Spin the left shin in a little bit, left hand down, right arm rises, and then you sit your hips down to the floor. So this left foot, let me turn a little bit, left foot inside the right leg, side bend, right hand to right foot, left arm over your ear, drop the right shoulder, right the right ear. Come back up, we're switching the leg. So left leg straight, right knee bends. Right hand right under the shoulder, so pretty close to your hip. Left arm over the ear. Push the hips forwards, lift onto the right knee. Hips come back down. We're switching the legs again. So right leg straightens, left knee bends. Push into the left hand, lift the hips. And then right arm over the ear, spin back forwards. Left leg shoots up and back. Left knee into the chest, step it through. We're in a runner's lunge. Hands frame the left foot, take an inhale. Exhale, lengthen the left leg. Two more runners. And shift back. Bend the knee. And lengthen. 
Runners lunge, look forwards. On your exhale, step forwards, forward fold. Again, ragdoll, maybe opposite cross of the arms. Lean a little, bob a little. Release your hands, round your way up. Arms rise at the top. Cactus, bend the elbows. Catch the interlace, try to get the opposite thumb on top. If you can remember, lift your heart, hinge at the waist, bow forward, soften the knees as you fold. Lift your shoulders away from the ears. Think of a back bend in the chest, one more breath in. Release the hands to the floor. Right foot goes back, and then downward facing dog is your exhale. High plank, inhale, shift forwards. Keep the elbows tight, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, and down dog, exhale. We'll do that again, adding on, right leg lifts. Bend the knee open. Inhale, knee into the nose. Hover the knee, lower it, breath in. Scoop it in. Two more, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale to hover. Exhale, tap the right knee down. Spin the right shin out, left heel comes down, supported side plank. Keeping your arms open, use those left obliques, lift yourself up, right into reverse. Left hand to left thigh, right arm over your ear. And right hand back down. Find that supported half moon. So right hand down, left arm up, and then the left leg lifts. This time, bend the left knee, pull the heel in, and grab a hold of that left outer ankle if you can. And then once you've got it, you kick into your hand, let it open the chest, let it open the left hip. Without slingshotting, slowly release it, left foot straight back, left arm up. Good, left arm over the ear, and then spin down to center. Right shin goes back. Take a breath in. Knee to nose. Right leg up and back, breathe in. Bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, right knee, right tricep, tap it. Switch to the left, to the right, to the left. Okay, this time we straighten the right leg up to the left. Or you could keep the knee bent like we did the first round. Either way, straighten the right leg or bent, left arm up. So we're gonna fall and try and lift the leg is straight. Push into the right hand, lift the hips, and then lower the hips all the way down. So this time we're in a wide-legged straddle. Left hand to left foot, right arm over the ear. Good, come back up to your seat. Take your left hand behind you. So you either keep this left foot straight or you bend the left knee like we did before. Right arm over your ear, lift the hips. Let your hips come back down. Listen carefully for this one. Turn your right hand outside of your right hip. Left arm over your ear. We're coming to fallen triangle. We're keeping the hands down. So left hand down, spin this left toe down, and then lift your hips. Keep the hands down so it's more of an IT band stretch. Think of lifting your hips higher and pushing your hips towards the back of your mat. One more breath in. One more breath out, and then slowly pull the right knee in, lift it up. Step it through runner's lunge. Hopefully you're still with me. I know it's a lot to follow today. Take an inhale. Exhale, shift your hips back one time, hamstring stretch. Bend the right knee, look forwards. This time, you may want blocks on the highest height at the top of your mat for this, we're coming into warrior three. So you could have your hands on the blocks or you could keep your hands to heart center. So pushing into the right leg, lift the left leg. Think of lengthening the chest forwards, almost the feeling of a back bend. Right into chair pose, left foot meets the right, bend the knees. Take an inhale, cactus the arms, Interlace the fingers, lift the chest, bend the knees, or straighten the legs, excuse me, keep the knees soft. 
Breath in and breath out. Set the blocks aside if you're using them. Left foot back, inhale, down dog. Shift forwards, high plank. Move through your chaturanga and your upward facing to down dog. Last side for this piece of the sequence, left leg lifts. Bend the left knee, open the hip. Knee into the nose. Hover it three times, pull it in. Inhale to hover. Exhale, scoop it up. One more inhale. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. And then exhale, just tap the knee down. Spin the left shin out, spin the right heel down. We're in a supported side plank. I move so I'd be facing you. I'm gonna take my, get a little sweaty. <laughs> All right, lift yourself all the way up and then reverse it, right hand to the leg, left arm over the ear. Take the left hand down, right arm rises. Find that supported half moon so the right leg lifts, feeling the outer right hip. And then you bend the right knee, you grab the ankle. Like a quad stretch. Quad stretch slash back bend. So as you kick into the hand, you're puffing up the chest a little bit and you're using that kick to open the right shoulder. Without slingshotting, release it, right leg back, right arm up, right arm over the ear, tap the right toes down, spin back forwards. Push into your hands, tuck the right toes, breath in, knee to nose, breath out, left leg up and back, bend the knee, open it, and then tap your left knee to the left tricep. Then we switch right tricep, left tricep, right tricep, and then straighten the right leg out to the right, or you tap the knee down like we did the first sequence, and spin the right arm up, fallen triangle or supported fallen triangle. Slowly let your hips come down. So we're in a seated straddle, right into a side bend, right hand to right foot, left arm over the ear. Come up to your seat. Take your is it right hand. Yes, <laughs> right hand behind you. You either bend the left knee or you keep it straight. Up to you. Left arm reaches up. Lift the hips. Push the hips forwards. Let the hips come down. And we've got to come back forward. So left hand comes down. Right arm reaches up. Think of fallen triangle here. Spin down, right hand pushes, and then lift the hips up. Keep that left leg straight if you can, so it's more of an IT band stretch. Push the weight back into the right heel. Lift the hips up a little bit higher. One breath in, one more breath out. Left leg lifts up and back, and then step it right through. Runner's lunge, breath in. Lengthen the left leg. Bend the left knee, look forwards. Here's our warrior three. So hands on blocks, highest tight. Or you can keep the hands at heart center. Push into the left leg, lift the chest. Stretch that right leg back, reach the heart forwards. Almost thinking of an up dog in the heart. So shoulder blades come together, heart reaches forwards. Chair pose, right foot meets the left, bend the knees. Breath in. Bend the elbows, cactus the arms. Catch the interlace opposite bind. Lift the heart, big inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. Relax your neck. Breath in. And release your hands on the breath out. Right foot steps back, inhale. Downward facing, push into your hands, press back. Option for high plank to chaturanga. Up dog, back bend, pull the heart forwards. Down dog, pull the hips up and back. Big inhale through your nose. Big exhale out your mouth. Let's do one more big inhale. And exhale. Let's tap the knees down, take a break. Maybe child's pose, 
maybe reaching your hands back in child's pose to relax the wrist, the shoulders, or you can take a seat. I'm gonna grab some water. How are we feeling? Two th lots of thumbs up, okay. <laughs> Fast flow today, you guys. We're getting a good sweaty midday workout. So to plan this sequence, I just went to my mat and I just started moving and then I wrote it down and now I'm teaching it. <laughs> so um, a little bit of a quarantine flow, I guess, is what I felt like my body needed, all the twisting and back bending and fast moving. Um, yeah, well, let's come back to a downward dog. Got another standing sequence for you that we're going to repeat. Um, this one's different, so we start fresh. Reach the right leg up and back, breath in. Bend the right knee, open the hip. Take an inhale, knee to nose just one time. Shift forwards, lift the knee up and in. Down dog split, right leg goes up and back, inhale. Listen, on your exhale, shift forwards to plank pose. You could keep the right foot up as you spin the left heel down, we're in a side plank. So right leg could be up or you're stacking the feet. Reach the right arm over your ear on your inhale. Pull the right knee in, slowly step forwards, runner's lunge on your exhale. Catch your breath here and then let your left arm lift you up and open to warrior two, spin the left heel down. Right into side angle, so right elbow, right thigh, left arm circles over the ear. If you want it a little bit deeper today, you could put your right hand down to the floor to a block. And let's all actually take a half bind. So wrap the left arm behind the low back. And then use that half bind as a reminder to turn the left shoulder open, almost like you're trying to twist up to face the ceiling. Lower that left shoulder away from your ear. We come back to warrior two. Reverse it straight in the right leg, go way up and back. And then triangle pose. Arms open to a T, maybe the left foot steps forwards. As the left hips shift back, you lengthen the right side of your waist, right hand down to your ankle or to a block. Deep, steady breath. Look down at the floor. You might locate a block under your right hand as you come into half moon, so you bend the right knee, keep that left arm reaching up. Remember the supported half one that we did before. Push that left foot up higher so you engage the outer hip and engage the glute. That'll keep you more stable, keeping that left leg strong. Right into chair pose, left foot meets the right, sink the hips, chair pose. Take your hands to heart center, pick up the left heel. Warrior three, you send the left leg back. As the left leg stretches back, the heart goes forwards. You could keep your hands to heart center. You could take your hands to those two blocks, highest height, or you could also, a little bit harder, reach both arms forwards. Keep lengthening the spine, think flat back, breath in. Standing split, fold over the right leg, drop your head. Lift the right hip up a little bit higher. Lower the left hip a little bit. So right hip up, left hip lower. And then step the left toes all the way back. Runner's lunge to high lunge. Both arms rise, push into the right foot. Take your right hand to your right hip, breath in. Side bend on your breath out. Big stretch, reach with the left fingers. And then keep all of this length on the left side as you lean forwards and cross the left elbow outside the right thigh. Twisting into your high lunge, push into your hands, lift the chest. See if you can straighten that left leg anymore. 
You could, if you want, open the arms, left arm down, right arm reaches up. Take a breath in. Breath out, we're coming into a straddle, so you turn all the way to the left. Right toes spin in. You fold forwards, adjusting your feet as you need to. This is a little different, so listen carefully. Flat back on your inhale. Stay in the flat back. Reach your arms open like an airplane, the palms. Press up to the ceiling. So you're feeling the shoulder blades come together. Keep the long spine, keep the arms open. Hinge at the waist, stand all the way up. Good, and then heel toe the feet in, or the heels in, I should say. Take your hands to heart center, goddess pose. Knees open a little bit wider, hips open a little bit more as you sit a little bit lower. Push into the feet, stand up, arms rise. Fold forwards, toes in, heels out. Crawl your hands to the top of the mat. Tap the left knee down. Wiggle the right foot a little bit wider. Left hand to the floor or maybe to a block, especially if you have shorter arms. Right hand inside the right foot, or <laughs> the right knee, the right thigh. Maybe a twisted quad stretch, reaching the right arm back for the left foot. Experiment with both pulling the foot in and then kicking into the, into the hand to roll the right shoulder open. You might play with both, pulling in and then kicking. And then release the hands to the floor inside the right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, push into your hands. You'll sweep the right leg up and back, down dog split. Breath in, bend the knee, open the hip on your breath out. Shift forward, get your shoulders over your wrists, and then you step the right foot behind you for rock star. Once you step the right foot behind you, you spin your hips to face the ceiling and you lift the hips higher. Right arm over the ear, look at that right hand. Start to come back forwards. If you want a chaturanga, you take it. Maybe you skip it. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take a breath in. Just one time, knee to nose. Use your belly, think cat pose. Left leg goes way up and back. And then shift forwards to plank. Maybe keep the left foot lifted. Spin the right heel down, side plank. Push into your right hand. If you've got the left leg lifted, lift it up. So feeling that outer hip, left outer hip. Left arm over your ear. Left foot slowly step forwards. You're in a runner's lunge. Hands frame the left foot. And then open up warrior two. Let your right arm lift you up. Side angle, left elbow, left thigh. Right arm circles over the ear. Then you lean back and you might, if you did so on the first side, find a half bind, wrapping the right arm behind the low back. Come back to warrior two and then reverse it right away. Left leg lengthens. And triangle pose. Maybe healing the right foot closer, right hips go back, left side of the waist stays long as you come down. So you're really thinking of reaching the torso out from the hips as much as you can, lengthening the spine. Look down at the floor, you might locate a block under your left hand for half moon. Bend into your left knee, take that left hand down, and then press the right leg up. Think of pressing the right hip up and open. Flex the right foot. Engage the whole right leg, get it strong so you're more stable here. Chair pose. Right foot meets the left, take it slow, hips go down, arms reach up. Hands to heart center. Stay in your chair, pop the right heel. As the heart goes forwards, the right leg goes back. 
so you're lengthening. Warrior three, again, hands at heart center. They could be on those blocks, highest height, or you might reach both arms forwards. Breath in. Standing split, fold forwards, drape your belly over that left thigh. Drop the head. Lift the outer left hip. So push into the left foot to lift the outer left hip. And then spin the right hip down a little. Step the right toes all the way back, runner's lunge. Right into a high lunge. Left hand to your left hip, big breath in. Big side bend to the left, reach with the right fingertips. Inhale, keep all of this length on the right side, twist your right elbow outside the left thigh. Push the palms together. Inhaling, maybe opening the arms. One more breath in. Walk your hands to the right, straddle forward fold, turn the left toes in, bow your head. Thinking of folding the body in half at the waist. Flat back, inhale. Push the arms out left and right like an airplane, palms up towards the ceiling, and then hinge at the waist, stand up. Hands to heart, find your goddess pose, turn your heels in, toes out, bend the knees. You might move a little bit here. On your inhale, you stand up, arms rise. Exhale, you fold. Crawl your hands forwards inside the left foot. Let's tap the right knee down. Right hand might be on a block or it's on the floor. Left hand will start inside the left leg. You could stay here or you twist the left arm back, twisted quad stretch. And again, you might play with kicking into the left hand to open the shoulder and then pulling the left or pulling the right foot in. Release the foot, hands inside the left foot. Push in your hands, lift the right knee, left leg sweeps up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. As you shift forwards, right shoulder over the right wrist, step the left foot behind you, and then push the hips up. Left arm over your ear, maybe you look at it. And then we slowly come forwards, maybe finding a chaturanga or down dog. I'm gonna skip the chaturanga myself. Quick break, water break, knees tap, catch your breath. We're gonna do that one more time. And I've got a whole bunch of optional add-ons for you this round. So just keeping in mind that the add-ons, again, all optional, you don't have to do them. You can always replicate what we have done in the past. Down dog. Right leg lifts. Bend the knee, open the hip. Knee to nose one time on your exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches. Exhale, shift forwards, find your side plank. Spinning onto your left heel. So first optional add-on is to lift the right leg. Maybe you bend the right knee, then you reach for the right ankle for a quad stretch. Kicking into the hand, letting the right shoulder open. So hard to do this while talking. So we re release the right leg. We step the right foot through, runner's lunge. Warrior two. Side angle, right elbow, right thigh, left arm, big circle into your half bind. If you really like binding, or if you wanna get deeper, you could take your right hand down to the floor, maybe a full bind. 
I'm not going to take time to cue it right now, but if you like Bird of Paradise, now is a good time to come into it on your own. Nice, Danielle. Take your time coming out. We'll reverse it, releasing the bind, straightening the right leg. And then triangle pose. Look down at the floor, half moon, bend into your right knee. The right hand might come to a block. Press the left leg up, pressing the outer hip up. This time option for chapasana, you bend the left knee and you grab a hold of that outer left ankle. Kicking into the hand, you open the shoulder, you also get a really nice deep hip opener. Without slingshotting it, release the foot. Chair pose is where we'll meet. Hands to heart, breath in. This time we twist to the right. Left elbow outside the right knee. Push into your hands, think of an upward facing dog in the chest. Pick up the left heel. Slowly bring the left knee in, contract the hamstring, and then slowly you'll straighten the left leg. You might pause in a twisted warrior three. So just like regular warrior three, that left leg goes back, the chest reaches forwards, and then the left toes tap, we're in a twisted high lunge. Knee to the arms open, inhale, turn to your straddle, right toes in. Lift halfway, inhale. Press the arms open on your exhale. And then stand all the way up. Heels in, goddess pose, hands to heart center. This time take your hands to your thighs, fingertips point down, take an inhale. Exhale, right shoulder dips, push the right thigh away as you look to the left. Inhale through center, left shoulder dips, push that left thigh away. Inhale, come to center. Hands to your heart, sit a little bit lower. Stand up, straighten the legs. And then fold forwards, turn the toes in. Crawl your hands forwards inside the right foot. Tap the left knee down. We've got another quad stretch if you want it. Right hand reaches back for the left foot. You release your hand. Lizard lunge. This round we're going to spend a few extra breaths in our lizard lunge, so please set it up however you'd like to set it up. You could keep the left knee down, or you could tuck the left toes and lift that left knee. You could stay on your hands, or especially if you feel like your wrists want to break, you could grab a block, or just put your forearms down on the floor, whatever you've got. Whichever setup you choose, you're thinking of lengthening the left leg back and reaching the heart forward. It's kind of like a warrior three here. If you're interested in exploring a deeper lizard lunge, you'll start to wiggle the right shoulder under the right knee as much as you can, and eventually step your right hand outside the right foot. The right arm is under the right leg. You could take an optional balance here, just like we did in the straddle. You reach your arms out left and right, push your palms up towards the ceiling. There might even be a bind here, wrapping your hands behind the low back, interlacing the fingers, and reaching the chest forwards. It's also a cool place to come into a side angle or a bird of paradise. Let you do that if you want. There's also an arm balance here. If you want the arm balance, you release your hands, return the right hand outside the right foot, you look forwards, shift forwards, push into your hands, get the right foot out of the way, and then reach it out to the right as you lift the hips. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna meet into a down, in a down dog split, the right leg goes up. One last little thing, bend the knee, open the hip, shift forwards, shoulders over your wrists. For wild things, step your right toes behind you, and then push your hips up, push into the left hand, reach the right arm over your ear. Maybe you think about coming into a wheel pose. You step the right foot down, you step the left foot in line with the right foot, and you turn to the right, you see if you can get your right fingers to the floor. If your right fingers touch the floor, 
Right hand pushes down and right away you spin the left hand. And then you're in wheel. A lot of steps there. I know I did it pretty fast. We'll do it on the other side too. Coming back forwards, maybe a chaturanga. Down dog is where we'll meet. If you did take the wheel pose, you might take a quick little child. Keep setting the spine. And then the left leg goes up. Bend the left knee, open the hip. Pull the knee into your chest, knee to nose. And then shoot the left leg back. Shift forward, side plank, come onto your right hand, left arm lifts. Maybe you lift the left leg, maybe you bend the left knee, find that quad stretch. Always harder on my left side. Kicking into the hand. And then left foot goes forwards, left arm over your ear. You're in a runner's lunge. Warrior two. Side angle pose. Half bind. Maybe you slide your left hand down to the floor. Maybe there's a full bind. Just making sure if you're in the full bind, you don't face the floor. You engage the back muscles and you lift your chest. Bird of Paradise is a good option if you went here on the first side. You'll take your time with that if you're working on it. Everyone else will release the bind, reverse it, straighten the left leg, and triangle pose just for a hot second. From triangle, we come right into half moon, bend into the left knee, push the right leg up. So I say push because we want to use the outer right hip, flexing the foot, engaging the glute. Maybe chapasana, you bend the right knee and you grab the ankle. As you kick into the hand, you open the right shoulder. Without slingshotting, you release it. Chair pose. Both feet meet. Bend the knees. Hands to heart center. Breath in. Breath out. Twist to the left. Right elbow outside, left thigh. Take a little bit more into the twist, so lower your hips, push the heart forwards, and then lift the right heel. Lift the right heel in, and then as you extend the right leg back, the heart goes forwards. Right leg back, heart forwards. You can pause for a moment before whoo, tapping the right toes down. You're in the twist. Maybe the arms open. Inhale. Straddle. Crawl your hands to the right. Lift halfway, open the arms, exhale, push the palms out, and then stand up. Heels in, goddess pose, hands to heart, last goddess. Hands to your thighs, breath in. Dip the left shoulder. Inhale through center. Dip the right shoulder. Inhale. Hands to heart, sit a little bit lower. Stand up, straighten the legs, inhale. And hinge at the waist, fold forwards. Crawl your hands to the top of the mat. Another twisted quad stretch if you want it. Right knee taps down, left arm reaches back. Release the right foot, lizard lunge. However you did on the first side, you'll set that up here. Right knee is down or it's lifted. Palms are on the floor or your forearms are down, perhaps they're on blocks. Perhaps you take it deeper. Getting that left shoulder under the left knee. Step the left hand outside the left foot. Maybe you open the arms, but don't forget about the hips here. To open the arms, it helps to 
push the left foot down and then lift the hips a little bit higher. So you're really squeezing that left knee in. You're using that left leg. Maybe there's a bind. There could be a BOP here as well. There could be an arm balance. You release the bind. You push your hands down. Looking forward, sinking chaturanga. You send the left leg out to the left, bending the elbows, reaching the right leg up. We will meet. Down dog split, left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Shift forwards, right shoulder over the right wrist. Step the left foot behind you, and then push your hips up to the sky. Turn your belly button to face the ceiling. If you feel like a wheel pose, left foot steps all the way down. Right foot in line with left. Keep turning the belly button up, pushing into the right hand. Tickle the floor with the left fingertips. Left hand down, right arm spins forwards right away, and you're in a wheel pose. Come out the same way you came in. Chaturanga if you want it. I need a break in child's pose, so if you need a break, you can take one too. From your downward dog, look forwards. Get your feet outside your hands. So you could step or you could hop right into malasana, feet outside your hands. Push into your feet, lift the hips up a little bit to lengthen the spine. And then we stand all the way up, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, and hands to heart. You can step or hop the feet together. Lift the right foot, tree pose. Right foot inside the left thigh, either above or below the knee. And then you want to push that left leg into the right foot. Option for a traditional tree, arm goes straight up, or you could drape that right arm over the right thigh, just kind of let it relax there. And then you want to think of making a C. So you lean to the right, reaching with that left arm, side bend. Come back up, release the right foot. We're going to twist. So take the left hand, grab the outside of the right knee, if I can catch my balance, <laughs> and then the right arm goes back. Some of you might grab the outside of the right foot, straighten the leg. I'm not gonna do that today, it doesn't feel good. Lifting through the chest. And then share pose. Take a breath in. Fold forwards, breath out. Lift the left leg up and back, standing split. Take a breath in, the breath out, tuck the left knee behind the right knee. Bend your right knee a lot, so squat all the way down. And you're gonna drop the left shin on the floor and sit down. So you wind up in this shape, um, like a seated twist. The left knee is bent, and then the right leg is bent over the left leg. And you'll either stay here or you'll take it deeper and find Gomukhasana legs. So to do that, you wiggle the right foot to the left. And what usually helps me is I shift forwards and I squeeze my shins together a little bit more and then I sit back down. And what you want it to look like is knees stacked ideally. And then ideally these feet, the ankles are even. They're parallel. You could stay right here. You could fold forwards, bowing the head. There's also Gomukhasana arms if you want to take the bind in the arms as well. It's also an option. The left arm will come behind the neck, bending the elbow, and the right arm will reach around and you grab the fingers. I didn't tell you to grab a strap today for this if you're taking the bind. So if you don't have one handy, you can always grab onto your bra strap or your t-shirt. Try to relax the neck wherever you are. If 
You've got the bind in the arms, you release it. Set your hands behind you, coming up to a seat. You're going to unwind the legs and step the feet down. Take the hands behind you, reverse tabletop, push into your hands, lift the hips. You might drop the head back, inhale. Open your mouth. Lower the hips down. Cross the ankles. We'll come back to down dog. If you want to crow pose along the way, now is a good time to take a crow pose. From down dog, you look forward. Same thing, malasana. Get your feet outside your hands. Try not to let the hips be super heavy. Try to push into the feet, giving the hips some buoyancy. And then push into the feet even more to stand up, straighten the legs, sweep the arms up. And hands to heart, step or hop the feet together. Left knee, or excuse me, left foot inside the right leg for tree pose. We'll start with hands at heart center and think standing tall so the tailbone lengthens down, the belly pulls in, and the chest lifts. Either you reach the arms up or you drape the left arm over the left thigh and you make a C shape as you side bend to the left. Slow and steady, reaching the right arm over the ear. Keep the right leg strong, push the right foot, let right leg into the left foot. As you come back up, you release the left foot, bring it into your chest, and we twist. Left arm goes back, right hand grabs the outside of the left leg. You could also grab the outside of the foot, straighten the leg, this side's always a little bit better on me. And then chair pose. Breath in, fold, breath out. Sweep the right leg up and back. Take an inhale, bend the right knee, tuck it behind the left knee, bend the left knee even more until you can drop the right shin on the floor. So we're coming into that seat again. The right knee is bent underneath you, the left knee, the left leg is stepped over the right leg. So either you stay right as you are, or you find the gomukhasana. So you've got to wiggle this left foot more out to the right. I like to, again, lean forwards, Squeeze those, those quads, those thighs together to try and stack the knees. And ideally you, won't, you want both hips even on the floor. Because my hips are a little bit tight, I naturally kind of lean into this right side and my left hip lifts. So my work is to try to sit the left hip down flat on the floor. I could even grab a pillow or a blanket and sit on it with the left hip. So same thing, you either stay right here you could drape yourself forwards, folding forwards. You could take the gomukhasana arms to go along with the legs. Right arm bends behind you. You wrap the left arm around, either grabbing the fingers or maybe grabbing a bra strap or bits of your shirt. Really good time to check into the breath, slow it down. If you've got the arm bind, you'll release it. You'll come up right, come to your seat. Planting your hands behind you, you unwind the legs, step them down. Second reverse tabletop, push into your hands, lift the hips. You might drop your head, inhale. Open your mouth. One more, no one can hear you. Big breath in, open your mouth. Lower the hips down. Last time, crossing at the ankles. We'll find our way back to down dog. Could be a crow pose, could be a final chaturanga, or you just step it right back. If 
And once you find your way back to Dandoff, shift forwards to plank pose and lower all the way down onto your belly. Set your left fingertips underneath your left shoulder. Bend the right elbow to 90 degrees. Not sure if you can see me down here. So right elbow, it's a half cactus. Make sure this right elbow isn't below the shoulder. You want it in line with or maybe just above the shoulder. And then you look to your left, push into your left hand, roll the left hip over the right. You might step the left foot behind you. Opening up the pecs, the front of the chest. Come back onto your belly. We'll switch sides. Right fingers tense under your right shoulder. Left elbow, get that 90 degree bend, the half cactus. And then look to the right. Push into your right hand, stack the right hips over the left. Come back onto your belly. Do three back bends on the belly. Reach your hands back, interlace your fingers. If you can't catch the interlace, the palms can push together. Roll the shoulders up back, down away from the ears. Pull the hands back as you reach the heart forwards. Chalambasana. Keep your gaze down your nose. You might lift the legs. One more breath in and breath out, release your hands, take the right cheek down. And turn your gaze back down to the floor, reach your hands back, grab the opposite interlace, shoulders roll up, back and down, reach the heart forwards, lower the shoulders down and away from the ears, add the legs, Backs of the legs press up and reach back. This time, bend your knees, pull the heels in. Slowly release the interlace, grab the ankles for bow pose. You kick into your hands. Once you grab the ankles, then you lift your chest. The gaze stays down the nose. Heart reaches forwards. One more inhale. And exhale, release it. Left cheek down. You might sway the shin side to side. Look down at the mat one more time. Either another locust pose or this time for bow pose, reach your hands back, thumbs face up. So thumbs face up and you grab the ankles. So it's a little bit of a different feel, different stretch once you kick into the hands. One more breath in. And breath out, let it go. Sway the shins. Back to down dog, just for a hot second, however you want to get there. From down dog, right away, right knee outside the right wrist for half pigeon. As always, we tuck the left toes and we move the hips back. As the hips go back, the sides of the waist lengthen, the rib cage goes forwards. You crawl the hands forwards, maybe resting your head on a block. Maybe sliding a block under the right hip if it collapses towards the floor. There is a back bend here if you want one more back bend today. If you don't, just ignore me. And if this pose as it is doesn't feel that great, just ignore me. If you want the back bend, you'll crawl your hands back. And you really have to find engagement in the legs. So you push this right leg down to lift the hips. Squeeze the hips together and reach your arms up. And just like a camel pose, the more that you lift your chest, the more that you go back. You probably won't go back too far, but you will feel a very intense stretch along this left hip flexor. Reaching up and out of the hips instead of just dropping straight back. 
Eventually you'll bring your hands down and we'll all come back to downward dog doing whatever it is that you like to do between sides. Eventually the left leg will come forwards, left knee outside, left wrist, tuck the right toes, move the hips back. Lengthening the rib cage forwards. If you're interested in the back bend here as well, one more very deep hip flexor stretch, you'll crawl your hands up. Tent the fingers, push the left leg into the floor, engage the right thigh so the hips lift, so you're not sinking into the low back. Both arms rise, and you think of lifting as high as you can get, and then the higher you get, the more your upper back goes back. It's not the deepest back bend ever, or it won't feel like you're going back, but you are lengthening the way from the right hip significantly. Eventually your hands come back down and we all take it to down dog just one last time. Whatever you like to do in between sides. You're going to find your way into a seat, either hopping forwards or tapping the knees down, bringing the legs forwards. Keep a soft bend in the knees. Pull forward fold, reach the arms straight up on your inhale. And then exhale, drape the belly over the thighs. Grab a hold of the feet, dropping the head down. Keeping the knees bent a little bit, you can always, if you want more, scoot the hips back any amount or wiggle the legs forwards. And just try to keep the length in the low back. So that means reaching the heart forwards even as you fold forwards. As you come out, you gently rise, scoot your hips forwards, grab a block. One last thing before we come down completely. Supported inversion, so you'll step your feet down, take your block, lowest height, slide it under your low back. So right at the sacrum, the base of the spine. Let it support the hips and then lengthen your legs up to the ceiling. You can release your hands beside you and close your eyes. Let your jaw soften. Let the muscles in your legs release, let the hips release. If at any point you'd like to take a more active inversion, you're welcome to move forwards in that direction. Or if there's anything else that your body needs in this moment, you don't have to stay here. I'm just thinking of letting the body fall a little bit heavier onto the floor. Getting a little bit closer to the earth. Eventually, whenever you feel like you've had enough, whenever you're ready, you'll return your feet to the floor. Set the block aside, setting up any props you might like under the knees or over the hips. Maybe you grab a blanket or a pillow or whatever it is and place it over your eyes to block out the light. And then you turn your palms face up on either side of your waist. You take a big, big breath in all the way up. Hold at the top. Sip in a little bit more air, fill up all the way in. And then exhale. Shavasana.
Start to bring some movement back into your body. Moving your fingers and toes. Starting to come back to your presence in this room. Just noticing whatever you might feel under your hands, your feet, whatever you might hear. Just tuning into your environment. And drag your feet to the floor. Hug your knees in. And find your way up to a seat, just like we began. So taking one hand to your heart and resting the other hand on the floor, either the palm flat or tending the fingers. And once again, feeling connected to your body, to your mind, turning that focus inwards. Feeling that calm, that feeling of being present. And then also feeling connected to the earth. So literally feeling the ground beneath your fingertips. Feeling how steady and sturdy your body is sitting here. And then bring your palms together and lift your thumbs up to the center of your forehead. Feeling in our practice and sending gratitude to one another, we will bow and say namaste. Namaste.